But we urge you, brothers and sisters, to do so more and more. The nature of the kingdom of heaven is to expand. God is not a one-and-done kind of person. Do you want friends? Jesus teaches you how to buy friends for heaven, that is, to develop relationships that will stretch out into eternity. Do you desire holiness? Jesus will send you his Holy Spirit, which will increase your desire for the things of heaven and the will to achieve them. Is it life you are after? Jesus will give you life, life in abundance. Let the people from the desert to the towns shout for joy. Let them declare God's praise from the mountains all the way to the coastlands. God is sending Jesus, in whom he delights, in the power of the Holy Spirit to bring forth justice to the nations. His kingdom is an ever-increasing kingdom. He looks for the smouldering wick and blows it into a blazing flame. He searches out the bruised reed and tends it back into health and vigour. Paul has heard the positive report about the Thessalonian Christians. They are standing firm in the faith, and that news gives Paul life. But now he asks for more. It is not enough to hold a little pail of faith in one hand as you stumble into the next life. Holiness is to be lived now. The kingdom of heaven is here now. The gospel message frees us to live the good life. We have freedom and peace in the security of the knowledge of what Jesus has done for us. The good life is a life that is better and better every day. Be freed from your idolatry. Be freed from your controlling lusts. Be freed to live quietly. Be freed to behave properly towards the great mass of lost people so that they may see our works and give glory to our Heavenly Father. Be freed from dependence on anyone else. Our Great Shepherd gives us everything we need and his blessings are new every day. You may not think you need it, but once God has given it to you, you will see how much better off you are. God the Holy Spirit, influencing Paul's words, urges us to love one another more and more. This is God's will, our sanctification to do so more and more.